Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Enshrouded. Last time we went to the Revelwoods Tower and uh, off the back of that I've made myself a copper axe and a copper pickaxe. Uh, I ran the tower a couple of times just grabbing copper bars so I could get these uh, done so that the mining will come a little easier. Uh, I've also taken the opportunity to uh, swap out our farm plots. Uh, so we've actually got farm soil in there. I completely forgot uh, to do that with the terrain feature uh, in the uh, in the building area. Uh, so these grow much, much faster. And as you can see, we've got plenty of things available. Now, uh, just before we go off adventuring, I wanted to grab another couple of strawberries just so we've got a little bit of spare, spare health regen. And what I thought we would do is potentially go to the hollow hall uh i spoke to the uh the flame and cleared up uh one of our previous um previous shrines so uh we don't have a whole bunch uh spare dotted all over the place uh and it did give us this new quest so the flame has alerted you to a newly opened path in a desolate part of the rev Revelwood. Visit the area marked on the map to discover a wildly untamed wilderness. This is the most recent patch, uh, the Blackmire Passage. Uh, but what we're actually going to do is we're going to go back to the Hollow Halls. We've been in there before, uh, but now we're a lot tougher and certainly in a lot better position. Uh, things should go a lot easier for us. I just want to very quickly check to see if there's anything that finding copper would have opened up as an option over here because it looks like there's something it's probably going to be like the the chain heal or maybe one of the the health potions oh the flask of the fell that probably be it because we did find that okay that's cleared all, all of those things off right so we're heading back to the hollow halls. Fastest way there, probably ancient spire drifter cross. That will get us part. In fact, you know what? We can we can just run it. It won't take us too long. Let's let's have some water to get over there. In running the hall a couple of times, we have the mace, which is awesome, but we also have the sp spine splinter, um, both of which are very cool and incredibly effective. Wait, bad doggo. So we're not really going to be struggling to do damage. Oh, I should I should upgrade the spine splinter. You know what? Let's let's do that quickly. Maximize the amount of damage that we'll get out from it. I haven't really done any construction. In fact, can I can I do that straight in crop? No, I have to be at one of the one of the craftsmen. Can I do it with you? Yes, awesome. Right, enhance equipment. Here we go. So 46, 48, 51 damage. It's going to uh, potentially do more damage than the flail. Just going to be slightly less useful in terms of crits. Between the two of them, though, we've got a pretty solid amount of damage we can put out and a pretty good amount of durability, so we're not going to need to worry about repairing stuff frequently. All right, we want to get there as quickly as possible. So, not enough stamina. We'll wait just a moment. There we go. Pull us up here. And up we go. I think we'll actually just bypass this guy. As fun as it is to kill everyone, it's not going to get as much. We might need to fight the other group, but that's a problem we can face when we reach it. Yeah, 
here we go. I've also got the explosive arrows this time, which is going to be a big difference when we're dealing with ranged mobs. Yeah, they definitely die a lot easier. I'm going to take this for the water and the, uh, the metal scraps. Was that an option for cooking? Yes. Well, we're not going to cook on that. That would be a little, a little crazy, I think. Oh my god, that was so much damage we did just there. I hate to think what, um, what one of the uh, crits or uh, special moves would do. So straight ahead is the flame sanctum. Round the other side is. A hollow halls. Now it is a winding path to get up to the, the hollow halls over the far side, right near the cave if I remember. So not this path, but the next path across. Which is going to be just on the other side of the uh, little chasm. Ignore all the spiders. They're not dangerous to us, but they would be annoying. There's that little, uh, little hut house thing. Can we just get up here, I wonder? Yes. Out the way, bat. They're relentless, aren't they? Well, they're not relentless anymore. This might actually end up being a bit of a shortcut for us if I can get up and over some of these bits nicely. The joy is being able to double jump, which we couldn't do previously. We actually want to be up that that little bit, so not really a shortcut. Almost. At least it'll speed up our progress forwards. And then we can just run up this. So I've not wasted too much time getting across here. We've got 22 minutes of rested buff left. So that's what's helping so much with our stamina right now. We're going to want to push forwards relatively quickly through this place. It is going to be dark, but uh, we've got a torch with us. So once we've cleared mobs out, we should be able to hopefully see what's going on inside. Take the health potion for what it's worth. And a couple of old books. In we go. So we have done this before, but we turned back because we didn't have the quest and we were way too lower level. I'll take a couple of extra scrap arrows. Is it good? You know what? Let's uh, let's just get in and get the fight going. We're definitely tougher. Cool. First room, clear enough. 
There's still this guy, but... He's stuck in the floor, so he's not going anywhere. The thing is, we've come all the way over. We may as well loot stuff as we go. Bit more water. I think that's a healing charge. We haven't found anywhere else. Now, I'm not needing to loot all of these, but you never know what's going to be in them. Okay, I think we're, we're safe to move. Well, I say safe. We're in a good place to move on, so let's head down into the halls. Nothing good on that side. Got some more bones. They're not going to be super useful. Mana potion. We're not a magician. There we go. There's some water. That will help out a little. Okay. I remember the first time we came in here. This was our respawn point and point of pain combined. Just hammer through them. And we managed to do that without taking too much damage, I'd say. Lots of ectoplasm, we still don't know what it's for. Repair our equipment quickly. And we should drink a little bit more water. But first up. Let's uh, damage all of those. Check for any more lootables on the sides. So we can always come back and repair our equipment. We do have a natural regen. It's not particularly much. Fighting mobs will also give us some regen. More red marble. Rude, smacked us in the air and didn't drop anything. Lots of spiders in these things. Bit more water. Just backstabbed a pot by the looks of it. Which is amusing to me, but uh, ultimately not useful. Hey, okay, let's grab the sigil. I don't think there's anything else except for us to move on. There, there's one up top. Of course there is. There was a couple of pots that we hadn't quite finished opening up. Switch weapon just to try it out for a bit. I wonder if there's different reach in the, in the different weapons. It 
So we know left doesn't really go anywhere important. I'll check just in case there's anything hidden that we missed back here, but no. It's a relatively uninteresting bit of progress. in place and that is another room clear let's grab all the stuff that we can mana potion what's in here shroud survivor flask we haven't really seen any shroud in the hollow hall so I don't think there's going to be Shroud sections we need to worry about. One last one, another mana potion. Okay, that's that room done. All the treasure. thing that's stuck in the wall. It was a mercy that we performed just there. Yeah, we're definitely not going to be wanting for water. This is so much more manageable when you're using level appropriate weapons and level appropriate armor. time but it's fine we got through which is the important thing got some twigs none of this stuff is useful to us little healing thing? Is that a healing? If not, what is it? No, it is a healing thing. It's just it needs to be out for a while. Well, let's uh, get some additional health on the way. Delicious strawberries helping us out. Anything cool in the pots at all? No. How are we doing for marble fragments? We're up to 14, which is not loads, but it's not. It's not none. Okay, let's. Uh, 
have a little healing potion. Wasn't our best fight. Lots and lots of nasty range stuff, but uh, we're still alive and we only really drank one healing potion, so I don't feel like we did badly there. out. That's actually a good idea. I could be using bandages to do some of these healing bits. Well, let's head down. That's another respawn point just up ahead. And it's probably time for us to uh, eat some more of our wild game. all wrecked before we repair our equipment. Okay, that's good. Everything repaired. Have some more game. Have some more hazelnuts. And we're ready to go again. that we didn't really need but I'm not going to complain about it being there we'll start on this side they've really swarmed us in the corner haven't they significant amount cleared off. Not going to give you a chance to do anything, mate. Okay, room clear. Or at least clear enough that we can use one of the bandages. And that is way more effective than the, uh, the casual healing. Now we've already got the, uh, the barrier dispelled. So anything else we do in here is just uh, just exploring for extras. I wonder, is it worth... You can mine them for bones. That's brilliant. And also 
very unhelpful. Yeah, nothing. Nothing tucked away up there. Oh yeah, the deep, uh, deep descent. I kind of remember this. I remember I screwed up a lot of the, uh, the flying around. We might be able to go a bit faster by just not being terrible this time. And there wasn't anything around here to check. No marble fragments for me. No. Okay. I guess we're just going down then. Oh, didn't didn't make it across to it. That's fine. So we need to go up and round to each side, although we might be able to double jump our way up there now. So let's just double check. Mm hmm. I I think that's possible. Oh, look at this. This is going to be a lot faster than last time. Just by slightly different navigation skills. I say slightly different. Double jump is a, a hugely different thing. It is a game-changing thing. So that is two of them done, and the third one is just down there. dog was stuck in place or not. I assume it was, but... Oh my word, I never even spotted that. Is that a secret there? I think it is a secret, so we're going to have to go down and investigate. Yes! We missed out on this chest last time. Silver shot bow. I'll take it. I don't know how it compares to our current one. But that makes me really happy. By finding stuff that I missed previously. Right, let's have a quick check. This is level 8. 16 power. 13 power. It's not going to end up as good. But it's really nice. Really nice to find things. Is that... Is that not it for the barrier? Is there one more that I'm missing? Okay. Oops. That was almost... Almost very painful.
back we go. Let's go up and have a look. There might be one up in like the middle area up there. Yeah, there it is. Surely that's enough. Alright, let's have a little look from up here. Is that there, there's one down the bottom? Stamina. Worst timing. Right. Let's uh, get our stamina back and get some of that health back. And a much safer way out. Okay, barrier spell. Let's move on. Really should be breaking all of these pots and pans. Actually, I can at least loot this. Hey, health potion. That was worth it. Down we go. Don't land in the fire. I'll just do a couple of here as well. There we go. Into the next respawn point. It's definitely going faster than last time I did this. Faster and safer. Is that bone arrows? I will have them. We haven't used any arrows at all. Uh, we can actually repair our stuff, so... Let's have a look at our journal, see if it's telling us anything about the hollow halls. Not really. Some more marble fragments. And there's some even more. It's half the reason why we're actually in here. Okay. Is this a door we can open? It is. I don't know if we went this way last time. Plenty of traps. I honestly don't remember. Okay. Don't know how I managed to time that well. I was convinced I was going to hit something there. Backstabbing with a mace, or with Morningstar, I should say. Summoning vessels. 
So yeah, the other direction that we saw actually went down. This has stayed on this level. Might have uh, damaged our weapon a little bit, but I think it was safer than going through and fighting them directly. Ooh, that looks like a big bit of loot to get. Nice try, Mr. Skeleton. Alas, it was too little too late. Let's uh, change weapon for a bit. Lintaro is sure. Ooh, look at that. That is a fancy looking weapon, the Mandible Crusher. It's a shame it's grey quality. I would love to get a bigger one of those. And I assume this switch lets us return to where we were without having to... Backtrack weirdly. No, this is this is a different place. Come hither. You've made it far. I was right to place trust in you, my benefactor. Why remain bound by earthly chains? The red string of fate is tied around your neck and wrists, cutting into your flesh. You're torn apart by hooks of destiny anchored between your ribs. Free yourself. Find me in this sea of souls and escape with me. Reach out. Just a little further now. Let us ascend together. You know who wrote this. Okay, can we open this door? No, so... I assume we can go the other way and it brings us to here as well. So let's go back. Because I am, I am properly curious. We don't have our rested buff anymore, which is a bit of a shame for our stamina. Uh, let's also get the hazel that's back on. Manage it again. Okay, back safely. Honestly surprised. Really quite, quite astoundingly surprised. So this side must go down and then back up. And if it doesn't, Have a look over here. That's different traps. And a different bunch of doors. Maybe it goes back up at the very, very end. Now, if I remember rightly, there was a secret in one of these last time. Which took us up to a uh, hidden area. Yeah, there it is. Which took us up to a hidden chest area, and then there was a secret within the secret as well. So it really does pay to to look around. 
What have we got? Sinister Crescent Staff. No secret ways out of here though. So we'll just go back the way we came. Okay, well, we're going to have to open one of these, uh, these doors. Let's start with this one. take a moment and I'm just going to close my window. There we go, just before we have all the moths coming in. We do have a door moving on, which I suppose is the easy way of getting past that uh, big load of um, rocks that has collapsed outside. I'll tell you what, this is significantly more effective than, uh, than when we were in here previously. Uh, more old books. I'm sure they'll be useful for the alchemist when we get back. Yeah, this just takes us to the other side of that. I wonder, is there anything on the other side over here? We've got some bats. It is quite dark, so let's get this out. Bone channel. Interesting for the mages, we are not a mage. There is a lot of in the area. Okay, I think they're all gone. So, let's just do a little bit of healing. We came in that way. Oh, there might be more up above, actually. Investigate the second room. potion. More bone channel that we don't care about. All in all, wasn't really worth investigating the other side. Unless there's like secrets tucked away, which, you know, it's, it's possible that there will be. Ah. 
So over this side, and there is a stairs up. Okay, cool. So it does reconnect with where we were. That makes me feel a little bit better. I'm glad we investigated. I'm not, not particularly convinced it was worth us doing the journey, but. Nothing hiding over here. Just twigs. to the next area and it's smoky <coughs> that's a little bit ominous another option to repair stuff don't really care about more twigs I do care a little bit about arrows Anyone for me to shoot, or is it just being intimidating? I think it's just being intimidating. This feels like a pretty important chamber. Not gonna lie. Goes down below. Bandages are good. I should probably eat some food now just to make sure that we don't end up running out. During whatever comes next. So this under here, what is this? Is it just an intimidating room? It goes down, down. That uh, can't be opened, so I guess that means we need to do stuff in here to open it up. Which might include stuff down below. do fall down there is a way back that way we could go up potentially fight from up here Drift away, get a healing potion in us, get a bit of regen on. Ow. Well, that's one of the barrier things we needed. So that's helped out a little. Really effective backstab right in there. Got 
him taken out as well. Oh, that is way too many. No, take, get rid of the damn lock on. Let's uh. This is not good. Okay. Managed to get a bit of footing. Sing them down. Ooh, right in the face on that one. Successful dodge. I think that might be it for the moment. That was that was intense. I can understand why it said you may want to have a party. Okay, let's change our weapon. Get some direct healing there. moment. And we need just a moment for our stamina to come back. Damn. I tried to drink my healing potion, but it wasn't quite enough. Right. Well, this is turning into a hell of a lot more epic than I was expecting. So I'm going to finish this episode off there. Uh, we're going to eat some food and we're going to pick up next time. Thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you are continuing to enjoy this. As always, if you are, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Enshrouded. See you soon.